The anticipation grows every day for the football season opener at Ole Miss, September 3rd, 245 Mountain Time on ESPN. True Blue's Robbie Bolo reports from Cougar Camp. Sometimes football players in fall camp feel like Bill Murray in Groundhog Day. Head coach Bronco Mendenhall decided to break up the monotony last Thursday. It was probably the loudest I've heard our team cheer in six years when I told them that there's no practice. And then it went loud and sustained. I mean, I couldn't get them to be quiet. In lieu of teammates in practice, BYU instead tackled the Provo Beach Resort. I went on the Flow Rider and I got worked a few times. I did hit a jackpot on a video game machine, so I got a lot of tickets and it was sweet. The break served its purpose, yielding a productive practice on Friday and scrimmage at Lavelle Edwards Stadium on Saturday. Everybody played today and again, the main purpose was to get some assessment as to what our depth will be, what redshirt decisions we have to make and maybe clean up a couple depth battles. Saturday's scrimmage was the last one of fall camp. BYU is ahead of schedule, starting their game prep for Ole Miss today. We'll start preparing earlier than normal, just because of how the team's doing so far. Unlike last week, this week's scrimmage was an injury-free one for the Cougars. Staying healthy is a critical factor in the team's success this season. I looked at the 1996 team that was 14-1, and one, so they won a lot of football games. I wanted to figure out what they were doing. At like game 12 or 13, all 22 starters that started the season were still healthy and at the end of the season. So it, that's one of the focuses that we have is to keep healthy. And, and I think if we do, um, the talent that's there is good enough to beat whoever we play. As the football season fast approaches, the green jerseys are ready to get into game mode and see their defense running at somebody else's quarterback. Having to face those guys speed rushing and, you know, being run stoppers on the edge, you know, all game long, it's just, man, it's a matter of time before they're going to get to you. So I'm, I'm, I'm very glad they're on our team and, and that I don't have to worry about them. Ogletree will rip your head off and <laughs> hand it to your mom, you know, and not even think twice about it. So as the team gets set to move into game preparation mode for SEC country, no one is more ready than Georgia native Corby Eason. What needs to be on my tailgating menu when I go to the Ole Miss game in Oxford? You need some ribs, some chicken, some pork chops, some baked beans, some grilled corn and cob, and that's all. And I might make it in the stadium for the fourth quarter. Oh, yeah. Like, tailgating, I believe, is more important to the game sometimes because people have a great time. They have, oh, yeah, don't forget about your flat screen TV. Okay. Robbie Bolo, True Blue. Thank you, Robbie. Ole Miss always ranked number one for the best tailgate parties in America, and that's where the Cougars are heading.